Hello, my name is Adam Rifkin and welcome to Trailers from Hell. Today we're going to talk about a movie that is a cinematic game changer. It's been described as the Bible of modern day horror movies, just like Psycho before it. And uh, it spawned an entire new generation of horror movies and horror filmmakers. Of course, I'm talking about John Carpenter's Halloween. Halloween night. So I remember very vividly in 1978 when Halloween first came out. It was absolutely the talk of my junior high school. The word of mouth around my friends and, and the people that I knew was that it was going to be the scariest movie any of us were ever going to see. And a lot of people that I knew weren't allowed to see it because they were under 17, but a lot of us were able to go see it. And I remember the buildup was so tremendous uh, that I was terrified before the movie even started. And the opening title sequence where the camera just slowly pushes in on that jack-o'-lantern that we saw just right there, I was, I was absolutely anticipating something horrifying was going to happen at any second. Uh, I went on to be thoroughly terrified by the film as well, but the anticipation was absolutely incredible. The movie was made for a very, very low budget. It was an independent film, a few hundred thousand dollars. John Carpenter had made a movie called Assault on Precinct 13 prior, and um, producer Erwin Yablons had seen it and asked him to write and direct a movie for him that was supposed to at that time be called The Babysitter Murders. But as John Carpenter and Deborah Hill were writing the script, Erwin Yablons had suggested to him maybe instead of having the murders all take place over several nights, we could save money, have it all be one night so we don't have to have any costume changes, and we could set it all on Halloween. And he realized that a film had never been made called Halloween. So John Carpenter thought that was a really good idea, and thus Halloween was born. The film shares a, an interesting parallel because the film prior to Halloween that was sort of the, the high watermark for the modern day slasher film was Psycho. And so now, years later, Halloween being the new modern day Bible for contemporary slasher films, Psycho starred Janet Lee, and Halloween starred her daughter, Jamie Lee Curtis. Also cast alongside her uh, is Donald Pleasance, who is known for movies like The Great Escape, and he played Blofeld. John Carpenter first went to Christopher Lee and then Peter Cushing, because he had loved Hammer horror films. They both turned it down. Christopher Lee later said he wished he hadn't, that it was, he felt it was a big mistake turning it down. The money was very low. Donald Pleasance took on the part, and you can't imagine anyone other than Donald Pleasance playing Dr. Loomis. Uh, he was superb. Halloween became the most successful independent movie of its time.